Hello guys and welcome to the third part of a pre-season uh, pre review for the Premier League clubs of uh, the UK. Um, to uh, Hopefully this will be the third and final part and then we can actually get, uh, get uh, into the channel for real and what the channel's going to be about and... Um, and uh, yeah, discuss uh, 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 a bit more about the plans for the channel going forward. Uh, as I said earlier in the video, th this uh, this first three videos are just about me getting used to talking to you guys in front of the camera, um, and also to bring you up to date with what Premier League clubs are doing and what plans they've got during the uh, pre-season. So yeah, let's. Uh, Let's crack on and get into it with the third and final part so that we can uh, then uh, start uh, getting into uh, in future videos more um, uh, at what the channel's about. So yes, so we start with Leicester uh, for this, this part. Um, Leicester aren't, uh, I, I could not find any any anything to, uh, with regards to Leicester travelling anywhere um, for pre-season, excuse me. Um, so I believe they're playing a lot of their, their pre-season friendlies away from home. Um, in fact, most of them apart from the final one. So yeah, let's crack on. Um, the first game is against Scunthorpe United, which is to be played Tuesday the 16th of July. And that is a 7.30pm kickoff. Um, then they will be playing their second game against Cheltenham. Um, and that's another away game. Um, that is to be played Saturday the 20th of July. That is a 3 p.m. kickoff. Um, the next game is another away game to be played against Cambridge United. And that is to be played on Tuesday the 23rd of July. That is a 7.30 p.m. kickoff. Um, and then... And then, as we've, I think we discussed in the first video, uh, some of the clubs have got uh, games listed at uh, the same same time, um, where they've actually arranged two fixtures on the same day, or uh, in, in in some cases at exactly the same time. So uh, Leicester have done exactly that. They've got a game arranged with Rotherham United and Stoke City, both classed as away games. Um, that's the, that that get them games of. Um, are to be played on Saturday the 27th of July at 3pm um, and like I said earlier in the I think it was the first video um, that, that they could be playing both of them games and splitting the squad in half um, and playing half of the squad for one game half of the squad for the other game or it could be because um, the games uh, they couldn't um, the games are as we uh, as the word is preliminary. So yeah, we'll, we'll obviously as we get closer to that that day, I'm sure we'll find out. Um, uh, Leicester fans might be more aware of it than what I am. Um, then their final uh, preseason friendly is to be played at their own ground against Atlanta, which is an Italian team, and that is to be played on Friday the second of August, and that is a 7:45 p.m. kickoff. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, next, we move to Newcastle. Uh, Newcastle, uh, obviously, we are all aware of uh, the issues with Newcastle and Mike Ashley, uh, and I, I, I will be discussing that at, uh, a, 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 a further down the line on other videos. Um, but for now, we'll leave it and we'll uh, just concentrate on their pre-season fixtures. Newcastle will be travelling over to... Um, I think it's China um, to play in the uh, against Wolves on Wednesday the seventeenth uh, of July. Kick off eleven a.m. UK time, and they will be playing at the Nanjing Olympic Sports Centre, um, and that's uh, that that sports centre opened in two thousand sorry two thousand and five and seats around thirteen thousand fans. Um, then Newcastle's next game. Is against uh, to oh sorry is to be arranged. It's 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 uh, penciled in, but no actual um, no actual uh, team um, placed for what who who they're actually playing. <coughs> 
So that game is to be played on Saturday the 20th of July and it will be to uh, be played at the Hongku Football Stadium in Shanghai, China. That stadium sits around 33,000 fans. Um, like I said, the the the, uh, the time to be the time for that game and the actual opponents to be decided. Um, then after that, um, I believe Newcastle are then travelling back to the UK and will be playing Hibernian. Um, that game will be played on Tuesday, the 30th of July, 7:45pm uh, kickoff. Um, and that's a bit to be played before their final game to be played back at their own ground, which is against um, AS St Etienne, um, which I believe, if I, I don't quote me on this, but I'm sure that's a French team. And that game is to be played on Saturday, the 3rd of August, a 3 p.m. kickoff. So, yeah, now we move on to Norwich. Norwich uh, are having a pre season tour in Germany, um, and they. Uh, I believe might actually be over there as we speak. Um, they'll be having a, a game over there against a team called Armenia. Um, they're playing that game on Sunday the 14th of July, a 3 p.m. kickoff. Um, they'll be playing that game um, at the Engivasum Stadium. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, that stadium sits around 12,500 fans. Um, and I think they then have an, uh, another game then um, in Germany, which is against Schalke. Um, that is on Friday the seventeenth. Uh, sorry, Friday the nineteenth of July, a five thirty p.m. kickoff UK time, and that is to be played at the Frim Frimo Stadium in uh, North Rhine Rhineland, um, and that is uh, in Te Tecla Tecklenburg, I believe. Um, and that is a third division stadium in Germany. So, yeah, then they will be travelling back to the UK to play Brentford at their own ground. Um, and that will be played on Wednesday, the 24th of July, a 4.30 p.m. kickoff. Um, then their next game is again in the UK against Luton, which is an away game. And that is to be played on Saturday, the 27th of July, 3 p.m. kickoff. Um, and then um, they will play another game back at uh, their own ground, uh, so, uh, which is uh, against Atlanta, which is an Italian team. And that is to be played on Tuesday, the 30th of July, a 7 pm kickoff. Um, uh, before their final game at their own ground, which is against Toulouse, uh, which is a French team, <coughs> on uh, Saturday. Saturday the 3rd of August, which is obviously, as I said, their fine, final pre-season pre, pre friendly. Um, next, we move on to Sheffield United. Sheffield United are travelling to Portugal for a pre-season training camp. Um, while they're out there, they're going to be playing a game against Real Betis. Um, that is to be played on Friday the 12th of July at 8pm kickoff. Um, that is to be played at the Estadio Algarve Stadium in Sao Joao de Venda. Um, that's a bit of a mouthful, so my apologies if I've not uh, pronounced that correctly. Um, that is the um, that is the national the, sorry the national team of uh, of uh, Portugal have played at this stadium on a couple of occasions. I believe it's not their actual national stadium, but it, the, the national team has played there a couple of times. That stadium seats around 30,000 fans. Um, and I also believe that the Gibraltar national team have also played there while their their own uh, ground is having some work done. Uh, so, yeah. Then, um, then Sheffield ret return back to the UK uh, to play a game against Burton Albion away. That is to be played on Tuesday, the 16th of July, at 7:45 p.m. kickoff, um, and then they will play their next game away again against Northampton, and that is on Saturday, the 20th of July, at 3 p.m. kickoff. Um, and their final away game of pre-season is against Chesterfield. Um, and that is on Tuesday the 23rd, 23rd of July, and that is a 7.30 p.m. kickoff. And their final pre-season game is to be played at their own ground against Bar 
sorry, no, my apologies. It's actually an away game. I thought I thought they'd have uh, 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 at least one game arranged at home, but uh, it appears not from my uh, from my uh, research. So yeah, their final game, sorry, is to be played against Barnsley, and that is a away game, as I said, and that is to be played Saturday the twenty seventh of July at twelve p.m. kickoff. They may they might they they might arrange a, a final game for. Uh, to be played at home in front of their own fans because um, if they're playing on the 27th, there is a, a couple of days where they could actually arrange uh, a home game for their for their loyal support back in uh, back in Sheffield. So yes, guys. So I believe that's uh, that's them out of the way. Now we move on to Southampton. Now Southampton travelled to Austria for a training camp, um, and they will be playing a game while they're out there against. Uh, at Oltak, I believe, and that is to be played on Sunday the 14th of July. That's a 2 p.m. kickoff UK time, and that is to be play, played at the Cash Point Arena at Alta, Cash Point Arena in Oltak, Austria. Um, that stadium seats around 8,500 fans, um, and then after that they will return back to the UK to play, uh, to play against Preston away. Um, that game is to be played on Saturday the 20th of July, a 3 p.m. kickoff, um, and then they will play. Uh, they will then travel to China, I believe, to play against Gu Gunangs Gunangs Hu. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, guys. Like I said, some of the, I did uh, warn you that some of these uh, pronunciations I might not be brilliant at, but I'm giving it a go. So uh, I invite you to laugh at me as I'm trying to get these uh, pronunciations out. Um, that game is to be played uh, Tuesday, the 21st of July, 23rd of July, sorry, uh, and that is a 1pm kickoff UK time. That is to be played at the Astiad, Esti, Estio, Estio Campo Desportif Stadium. Um, and that is in China. Um, that is that stadium seats around sixteen thousand fans, um, and then they will be returning back back to Europe to play in the Netherlands against Feyenoord, um, and they will be playing that game on Sunday the twenty eighth of July, and that is a one thirty p.m. kickoff. Um, that stadium there they'll be playing at the stadium uh, which is called. De Kupa Stadium in Rotherham, the Netherlands, obviously, um, and that is uh, a 51,000 seater stadium. And then uh, <clears throat> Southampton's final game is to be played at their own ground against Cologne, uh, a German team, and that game is to be played on Saturday, the 3rd of August, at uh, 3 pm kickoff. Uh, now we move on to Watford. Now Watford fans, I'm I'm really uh, uh, sorry about this, but unfortunately I have struggled like you will not believe to get uh, information with regard to Watford. I could only find one fixture that they've arranged, and I only found out that they were travelling to Austria for a training camp at the last uh, at the last minute before I've actually made these videos. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot of information for Watford fans. Uh, they might know a bit more than I do, but I believe me, I did the research. I did my best to find out as much as I could for you guys. But unfortunately, I could only find one pre-season friendly actually, uh, actually, you know, uh, arranged. So yeah, they, they will travel to Austria, as I said, for a training camp. No games confirmed while they're out there, although they may play some sort of uh, game maybe behind closed doors or something I'm not sure I've seen teams do that before so that's possible and then they will return back to the UK to play against Queen's Park Rangers and that game is to be played on Saturday the 27th of July and that is a 3pm kickoff so they may, they may arrange a few other games I, I couldn't find any information for you guys with regards to any other games that uh, Watford were playing um, so hopefully they will I'm sure they will arrange one or two other games because uh, if they haven't I cannot see that as being a great preparation for the team to just play one pre-season friendly so hopefully uh, you you Watford fans will uh, will be more in the know than I am. 
But uh, as I said earlier, I, I did do my best to find out as much information as I could for you guys. But that was the only game I could find that they'd actually uh, they'd actually um, promoted, should I say? Uh, now we move on to West Ham. West Ham are to play uh, to travel to Switzerland. Sorry for a pre-season training camp. Uh, whilst they're there, they will be playing a team called SCR Altac, which I believe I mentioned before against another a team. Um, that game is to be played on Thursday, the 11th of July, and that is a 5:30 p.m. kickoff, um, and that. To, is to be played at the Cash Point Arena in Altac, Austria, and that st stadium si seats around eight thousand, eight and a half thousand fans. Um, then West Ham will uh, uh, travel to China to play uh, against Manchester City in the Asia Trophy. Um, that game is to be played on Wednesday, the seventeenth of July, and that is a one thirty p.m. kickoff. Um, they will play that game in the Olympic Sports Centre, which is in Nanjing, China, and uh, that stadium seats around 13,000 fans. Um, then West Ham will play their second game in China, in China, and in on the 20, uh, sorry, on Saturday the 20th of July, kickoff 11 a.m. UK time. But I believe that could be changed uh, depending on their opponents, because their opponents are, for that game are not confirmed. Um, due to the nature of that, that miniature competition. Um, the stadium seats around 33,000, and as I said earlier, is for the Asia Trophy. Um, and then West Ham will return back to the UK to play Fulham on Saturday the 27th of July, a 3pm kickoff before their final game, which is to be played at their own ground, uh, which is against Atlant At Atletico, um, which is a Spanish team, and that is to be played at, on Saturday the 3rd of August at a 3 p.m. kickoff. So, yeah, a couple of interesting games there for you guys that are West Ham fans. Now we move on to Wolves. Wolverhampton Wanderers are to play Newcastle, and they will be travelling to China to play against Newcastle in the Asia Trophy. And that game is to be played on Wednesday the 17th of July, 11am 11, 11 kickoff for uh, UK time. And that is to be played in the Olympic Sports Centre Nanjing in China. Um, and as I said, that is the Asia Trophy. Their next game is against Wolves. Uh, again, the Asia Trophy. Uh, they will be playing that game on Saturday the Sorry, my apologies. We're talking about Wolves. My, my apologies. Wolves will play their next game on Saturday the 12th, 20th of July. Kickoff to be uh, arranged. Um, there will uh, obviously their opponents to be arranged with regards to what happens in the first round of them games. Um, and that they will be playing at the Hongku Stadium in uh, China, Shanghai. Um, and that is uh, that stadium seats around thirty three thousand fans, um, and then uh, then Wolves will have to travel back to Europe um, to play in the Europa League. Um, so that is the second round that they're playing. That's uh, when they get their season underway uh, for real. Um, and they will be their, their the opponents for that game are still to be arranged due to the fact that the Europa League is uh, obviously knockout competitions, and there's they, they have to wait for uh, the earlier knockout rounds to find out their, the, who their opponents will be. But I can give you the dates uh, for that for the games. Uh, the first leg is to be played at home, and they will be playing on Thursday the twenty first twenty uh, fifth of July. And their second, the second leg is to be played away, and that is to be played on Thursday, the 1st of August. So, obviously, uh, us at the Football Fan Den, we wish uh, Wolves all the best with that fixtures, and hope they get a good draw, and uh, when they do play the game, we hope they get a good result. So, yeah, best of luck to Wolves. So, that's, that's a lot, guys. I think, I believe we've gone through all the Premier League teams. Um, and what their preparations are for the pre-season uh, plans. Um, hope to this uh, uh, these few videos have helped you all uh, get up to scratch with what what your team's doing and obviously what your rival teams are doing. Um, uh,
I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Uh, like I say, when we do further videos, I won't be looking down as much because I won't be reading from a script. Uh, that was just simply to help me get off the mark and uh, get used to talking to you guys in front of the camera. Um, and also bring you all up to up to date with what, what the pre-season plans for, were for were for every uh, Premier League team. Um, so hopefully you, you've enjoyed that um, and hopefully I haven't uh, rambled on too much, just trying to bring you guys as much facts for pre-season as possible and obviously give uh, every club uh, a bit of a bit of coverage with regards to what their plans are. So hopefully guys you will join me in further videos which will be coming soon um, and I will be uh, talking further at length with regards to what the channel, uh, the plans for the channel are going forward and uh, obviously at some point I will also be looking to start doing live streams where I can start uh, getting you guys interacting with the channel and uh, and uh, we can start building the channel going forward uh, to involve fans more. That's that's my uh, long term plan. But obviously, as 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 I said earlier on in the videos, for now it's just a case of me getting used to talking in front of the camera, getting some confidence going. Hopefully, you guys will understand and be supportive, and uh, hopefully, you guys will uh, will uh, like the content that I bring to you. And uh, yeah, so uh, but like I said in earlier videos, that the 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 one thing that I can tell you about the channel is that my plan is to make it about fans it's not about uh, corporatism it's not about um, being discriminative to any fans any culture or anything it's about bringing fans together that's the plan for the channel going forward it's about we all we all have our teams that we support we all have rivalries and that's that's brilliant that that's what makes football but as as i said earlier um the plan for the channel going forward is um, is to uh, try and bring a fan togetherness going, uh, 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 i.e., a community uh, feel to the channel. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll hopefully, I've uh, I've given you some information. I think uh, for future videos, it might be advisable uh, for me to have a, a glass of water just to wet my throat, so I don't cough and. Uh, stumble on my words as much but as i said to you guys hopefully you'll be very understanding that i am brand new to talking in front of a camera and that uh, hopefully going forward i'll get a lot more confidence get a lot more used to it and uh, you guys will uh, start to enjoy the content more and uh, uh, hopefully it will uh, bring you guys together as as fans and uh, we will all start to feel a bit more uh, together as a football community. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed uh, the first uh, introduction videos. Um, if you want to to subscribe, that will be great. Much appreciated to help the channel get building. Um, but as you said earlier videos, I'm not going to put any pressure on any fan to uh, to subscribe. That is at your own discretion. It'd be much appreciated if you did. But if you choose not to, that's fine as well. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.